April 15th stimulus check update. Today should be the day that you receive money in your actual bank account if you are one of 80 million Americans who received direct deposit this week. If not today, then probably by Friday. If you haven't received your money yet and you want to know how, I'll go over some details in this video as well. We're also going to talk about the new IRS portal that launched today, the Get My Payment tool to track your payments, which was an epic fail. Later on, I'll go over some other updates regarding Social Security recipients, SSDI, railroad retirements, as well as some other important groups with regards to receiving a stimulus check. First, let's talk about the new IRS portal, the Get My Payment tool to track your stimulus check payments. I did a walkthrough, you can click the link down in the description below, a video of how I go over the process, I go more into detail of how it works and what it does. I was able to do that at seven in the morning before the site crashed a few times and I think a lot of people got locked out and it was way too much volume as we all expected. If you're not sure what the Get My Payment tool does, here's a quick refresher. So this application will give you information about your payment status, your payment type, and whether we need more information from you, including bank account information. And in order to uh, fill out this information, when I did my walkthrough, it required your adjusted gross income, your AGI. So you need to have that number handy, as well as your social, your birth date, your address. Let's talk about why this was a big fail and why a lot of people are disappointed and there's so many unanswered questions. This is just launched today. There's still a lot of bugs with it, but there isn't really much help around it. A lot of responses that people got when doing through the system, either they were locked out or they got a message saying the information doesn't match our records. Try again in 24 hours or saying status not complete, even though all the information was correct and everything was complete. And even if you were one of the lucky ones to actually get onto the site and get through all the different steps, at the end, it still never gave any status of when the paycheck is coming. It would just say your paycheck is coming April 15th, even though there was no notification in the person's bank account saying that a direct deposit was pending. Now, I'm not sure what we were all expecting when tracking our stimulus check payments. Is it gonna be like an Amazon package we're tracking where you see where it's at, how long it's gonna come? Uh, regardless, it was not giving any information that was helpful. Please prove me wrong and let me know in the comments below if you were able to get through all those steps successfully and if it gave you any information that was useful. Before I get into the other updates, I just wanna give my thoughts on this. I think the IRS launched this too soon. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were told that the IRS was launching the Get My Payment tool April 17th. It's April 15th, so two days ahead of schedule, initially when they mentioned it a few weeks ago. Even still, I don't think this tool was ready to be released yet. It was still immature, probably needed a lot of bugs fixed, Anytime someone actually did get through, it didn't provide the right information they need to know when the check is coming. That's the number one question we've all had for weeks. When is the check coming? There's a lot of stress and anxiety around that question, and we just wanted some relief and reassurance that a check is actually coming and when it's coming. Unfortunately, the IRS did not deliver on those expectations. Now let's move on to some other updates. So just received news that your stimulus check can be garnished or seized uh, if you owe child support payments and if they are not up to date, then your stimulus check can be garnished to whatever amount to pay the person that you owe the child support to. The next big question is, are the stimulus checks taxable? The short answer is no, they are not taxable. Stimulus checks are structured as refundable tax credits. That's the reason why everyone is getting it. So people who do not even file tax returns at all still qualify for these payments. Next question is, do you have to pay back the stimulus check amount that you get the following tax season for the year of 2020? Short answer is no. It's not some type of loan uh, to quote the tax foundation. If the amount of a credit a taxpayer qualifies for in 2020 is less than it was based on their 2019 return, it does not have to be paid back. Next question is, if the IRS does not have your direct deposit information, are you gonna get a paper check? And if you don't wanna get a paper check, how do you give the IRS your direct deposit information? So two different ways here, I'll leave a link down in the description below. If we go to the IRS website, you'll see that there's two different columns here. 
So you'll see that there's two different categories here. One is for people who pay their taxes in 2018, 2019. The other is if you have not paid your taxes in 2018 or 2019. There's a big difference here. I'm not gonna go over all the details, but if you wanna pause the screen right now, you could see uh, which one is probably best for you if you need to provide your direct deposit information. Next question is, do Social Security recipients, are they eligible to receive the stimulus check payment? Yes, they are. But unfortunately, a lot of Social Security recipients, as well as SSDI, railroad retirements, for whatever reason, the IRS is not being too friendly with them, and they are kind of at the back of the line. But yes, they are all uh, eligible to get the stimulus check payment, assuming that they meet the income requirements. Let me know if you have any other questions you want me to answer. Put it down in the comments below. I'll make a future video on it. Subscribe if you want more updates like this. And if you want to watch more videos like the Get My Payment Tool walkthrough, as well as the other IRS portal walkthrough, you could use the link down in the description below or click one of these over here, and I'll see you in the next video.